Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about softmax activation function. In our previous classes, we discussed many of the basic concepts required for understanding deep learning. So we use the concepts which we already discussed in our previous classes. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete deep learning concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Let's take an example and understand what softmax activation function is. The softmax function is used for identifying the multi-class classification. In our previous classes, we discussed about binary class classification. The last function which we used for binary class classification is a log loss, which we call it as cross entropy. And we did some regression examples also for identifying the regression models. Uh, we are using mean squared loss uh, function. That is what we have done up to now. For identifying multi-class classification, we use the softmax function. And the what's the loss function for using the softmax function? All these things will be discussed in, in this class. Uh, let's take an example and understand what softmax function is doing. Uh, the example which we consider here is this is our data set. Uh, in our data set x is input y is output we are taking images as our input x is taking image one in that image one we are having a cat image so the actual value we are having here means actual values y means actual values this is our training data set suppose we are having 10,000 images image one is cat image two is dog image three is hen image four is others so our our neural network has to identify if you give an image to this neural network what it has to identify it has to identify whether it is a cat dog hen or it belongs to other category so how many different classes we are having here four different classes are there cat dog hen and other category like that we are having so many images we will try in our neural network at the end our neural network will adjust its weights to identify whether it belongs to cat dog hen or other category so what we are doing here is uh, let's try to understand first uh, just follow it at the end you will get a clarity why we are doing all these things uh, see this y is converted into a vector uh, so how many categories we are having four categories uh, one is taken as cat two is taken as a dog third one is taken as hen fourth one is taken as others uh, so the image uh, the image one consists of actual value consists of cat that's why we are converting it into a vector uh, one is considered as a cat so that's why we place it one here remaining value zero the second image converted is uh, 0 1 0 0 y the second one is a dog the actual value is dog that's why we are placing one here remaining value zero for the third value is one because it is a hen remaining value is zero because it it belongs to other category we place three zeros and the last one is considered as one that is how we convert our actual values into a four by one dimensional vector why we are converting this we will understand at the end when we discuss about the softmax function let's take our neural network this is our uh, neural network uh, x is taken as input layer we are giving it uh, x as input to this neural network and this neural network has to identify whether this image consists of a cat dog hen or a other category so this the final layer we call it as output layer and the middle ones we call it as hidden layers assuming that all these basics were clearly discussed in our previous classes based on the assumption you already know these basics we are not uh, considering about what is this z1 values we don't explain all those so in the final layer we are taking four neurons up to now in our previous classes when we discussed about uh, neural networks the final layer consists of only one unit uh, but here we are taking uh, four units so what why why we are taking four different so why we are taking four different units that's we have to understand so the first unit is used for the identifying cat second for identifying dog third for identifying hen fourth one is used for identifying other category so in the last layer before that last layer this hidden layer the outputs that come from this hidden layer is considered as an input to this last layer that is what we have done in the neural network so how we will get this z1 z2 z3 and z4 values is here in this layer we are having weights these weights are multiplied with the outputs that come from this layer let's call it as a 
so here we are calling it as ex w transpose x plus b is equal to we are getting z1 the same way z2 the weights that belongs to the z2 w transpose x plus b is equal to z2 that is how we got this z1 z2 z3 and z4 values so w1 transpose x plus b w2 transpose x plus b this is these are the equations which we used in our previous classes sir this is how we calculate z1 z2 z3 and z4 values sir now we have to apply the activation function here in our previous classes the activation functions which we discussed are the, we are applying those activation functions on a individually on each and every neuron activation function on z1 activation function on z2 activation function on z3 activation function on z4 that is how we did in our previous classes but this softmax function is not like that we will apply this softmax function on this entire layer what it will do how it will do let's try to understand if you apply this softmax function on this entire layer output layer the softmax function will calculate these values z1 z2 z3 and z4 let's assume that if you take the first input cat image we feed forward into the image the final z1 z2 z3 z4 values which we got here is like this 2 3 minus 1 and 4 these are the values which we got so what's the softmax function do is it will calculate e power z1 e power z2 e power z3 e power z4 values these are the values which we got we are writing it approximately usually you have to take point uh, 7.3899 like that uh, we are writing it approximately so e power z1 value is 7.38 e power z2 is 20.08 e power z3 value is 0.36 z4 value is 54.59 these are the values which we got for our first image now after that it will calculate e power z1 by sigma i is equal to 1 to c e power z i what's this c is i is equal to 1 to c means how many classes we are having four classes here we are taking a 1 to 4 e power z1 z2 z3 z4 we summation of all this means summation of all these values e power z1 divided by summation of all these values e power z2 divided by summation of all these values e power z3 divided by summation of all these values e power z4 divided by summation of all all these values these are the values which our softmax function is calculating what's the values we got here is 0 0.089 0 0.24 0 0.0043 0 0.66 these are the values which we got for each and every output neuron so what's these values it is calculating the probability values if you feed forward the first image the probability that this image belongs to cat is 0.089 percent the probability that this image belongs to uh, dog is 0.24 percent means 24 percent of chances that this cat this image belongs to dog that is what it is saying 0.0043 percent of a hen under others percentage 0.66 out of this which one is the highest value this one is taken as the highest value 0.66 means 66 percent of the chances this is considered as our output if you feed forward the input the output which is given by our neural network is it belongs to others category that is what it is doing here we are calculating the probabilities the summation of all these probabilities values will be one that is what our softmax function is doing here now coming to how we back propagate we have to update our weights we need some loss function what's that loss function let's take an example and understand so you you understand that uh, how to calculate the uh, how softmax function is working and it is calculating the probability values so these probability values are considered as a predicted values that's what we call it as y hat here so y hat here what uh, the predicted values how many predicted values we are having uh, four predicted values means the output which we got here is four by one vector the, our actual output is also considered into four by one vector that's why we considered this into vector format now coming to next concept uh, see extension of this concept uh, so y hat is 4 by 1 vector y is 4 by 1 vector y means our actual data y hat means our predicted values probability values uh, now coming to our loss function the loss function which we use in our softmax uh, for softmax uh, layer multi class classification is uh, l of y hat comma y is equal to minus sigma j is equal to 1 to c means all the classes four classes see here yj log y hat j yj means y1 log y hat 1 the predicted value and the actual value so this loss function is exactly the extinction of uh, 
log loss function means generalization of log loss function which we discussed previously in our machine learning concepts uh, let's understand why it is the generalization of log loss function it is a log loss function is for binary class classification this is the generalization of multi class the binary class classification means this is extended to multi class why this is a generalization of that log loss function we will understand at the end let's try to understand how back propagation is done then we will go and understand why this is the generalization of log loss function so coming to this why y1 this if you extend expand this equation minus y1 log y hat 1 minus y2 log y hat 2 minus y3 log y hat 3 minus y4 log y hat 4 let's take an example if you take the first image we feed forward that image and the outputs we got z1 z2 z3 z4 uh, that softmax function is converted into probability values means we are getting the predicted values here y1 means this one y2 means 0 actual values y3 means 0 y4 means 0 y hat 1 means y hat 1 means the predicted value given by our end layer output layer predicted value predicted value that's why we are using this 4 by 1 vectors okay these are the values when you substitute these values see here y2 is 0 y3 is 0 y4 is 0 so all these terms are zeros the only term remained here is a minus y1 log y hat 1 that is the value which re which remained after applying these values and the final value y1 is 1 so minus log y hat 1 that is the value which is remained so the uh, the goal of neural network is to reduce this loss this is the value which we got after applying this so it is the goal of our neural network is to reduce this loss if you want to reduce this loss what's our weight has to update so in the back propagation using this equation we are updating the weights so our weights has to update to increase the y hat one value if you increase the y hat 1 value this minus log y hat 1 value will be decreasing so that's why it, our weights are adjusted to increase the y hat 1 value so that our loss will be minimized that is what we are doing here we are calculating so let's check out with the example with the diagram so here we feed forward the first input it is actually it belongs to cat image but uh, here uh, the outputs which we given here is uh, we are getting highest probability at z4 means uh, our neural network is provide our uh, predicting it as uh, it belongs to other category during the training process uh, but what we have to do it belongs to cat image so here y hat 1 has to be increased y hat 1 has to be increased means uh, the weights that belongs to this uh, the connection of this has to be updated how to how they have to be updated they have to be updated in such a way such that the y hat one value has to be increased so that the next time if the image is given this y hat one values will be increased so that our network will predict it as cat image that is how it is updating its weight so if you take the second image what's the second image here image two dog image so the dog image the output uh, y hat y2 will be one and remaining all are zeros uh, if you take the second input the weights are updated in such a way such that uh, the y hat 2 value has to be increased that is how it is getting trained and it is giving the actual in predicting the future data points uh, like that we will try in the entire network so that we will get a better the weights are updated so that uh, they are identifying cat dog hen and others category that is how it is getting trained now this is how multi-class classification works now coming to the concept uh, we discussed that the softmax is a generalization of logistic log loss uh, to c classes uh, let's remind our uh, log loss function this is our log loss function minus of y i log probability of y hat i plus 1 minus y i log 1 minus probability of y hat i here i means first data point actual value y i means actual value y hat i means first data point predicted value probability of y hat i means a predicted value 1 minus y i means uh, the so so what happening here if y i the actual value is 1 this term is remaining this term is getting 0 1 minus 1 means 
zero if the actual value is zero y i value is zero this term is remaining this term is getting zero that is what we are doing the same thing we are doing here in the log loss also in the softmax loss also if the actual value is one this term is remaining remaining terms are getting zero if the actual value is dog this y2 term will be remain remaining terms will be zero this term will remain remaining values will be zero if our actual value is y3 these terms are getting zero this value has been remained that is what that's why it's a generalization of our log loss uh, means binary class classification extinction generalization to c classes uh, on the final intuition we are going to give this will help you a lot in understand what's happening in our how it is identifying the uh, multi-class classification suppose if you take two dimension x1 x2 these are the inputs let's take this is a two dimension and these inputs are directly given to the output layer in the middle we we are not providing any hidden layers we are directly giving these inputs to output layers z1 z2 z3 means how many classes we are having here three class classification assume that this is a three class classification if you try in this neural network z1 we got it by w transpose x plus b z2 we will get it by w1 transpose x plus b means we are having three different uh, linear equations uh, our model is identifying three different lines uh, at the end uh, these lines are helping us in predicting the value so that reducing the loss uh, these lines will separate the positive negative and uh, neutral classes that is what happening here let's check the diagram these lines uh, let's have some in diagrammatical intuition positive negative and neutral classes if you try in this network without any hidden layers it is identifying a line line like this for understanding purpose we have drawn this line it is not the exact one so this is how they will identify they will separate this values that is what happening here if you impl if you insert him hidden layers here in the between it is providing non-linearity so how it is providing non-linearity all these things are discussed in our previous classes uh, based on the activation functions we are providing non-linearity so that uh, for the complex patterns also can be identified that's the use of neural network hope you understand the concept of softmax we will use this for multi-class classification if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you